In the 1990s, we were maybe still in the Charles Babbage era of quantum computing, but today we are well past that. We have these programmable devices with 50 qubits or 100 qubits. Last year, Google actually demonstrated an error-corrected qubit that gets better with increasing size. They've finally crossed that threshold after 30 years of talking about it. I would say that now we're not yet in the transistor era of quantum computing, but we're in maybe the 1940s. Like we're in the vacuum tube era or the electromechanical relay era of quantum computing. Now, what is it going to be good for? That part, uh, unfortunately, has been massively, unbelievably overinflated in the popular press. Right. I've tried to give you a true sense of what it will be good for. It will be good for quantum simulation. It will be good for breaking public key cryptography. It should provide some modest benefits from other things, but it is not this magical machine that just speeds up everything.